It's very interesting. The reason I came out here was because, like, if I'm very honest, nobody kind of cares. Like, you know, when they had the lockdown, like, you, it's almost like prohibition for restaurants. And so if you know the places that are open, you kind of knock, you have to go through the back door. Or a lot of times, like, you know, you know just, it's just really weird. I was here in February when they had the lockdown. You know, like, I found five restaurants. And because I tip well, like, you just kind of knock on the door. They would let you in. Like, it's, it's always, it's, it's kind of funny. Nobody really pays attention. They pay attention, but they don't really pay attention. So most of the people I've known out here, mainly most of my young folks, They've all gotten COVID already. So it's kind of tore through here. And, but they, they were, I think this is one of the things with like sort of ex-Soviet Union places. They're super, super skeptical about media, very, very skeptical about sort of like government mandates. It's very hard to enforce like hard like mandates here. So, you know, life kind of goes on. So for better, for worse, I, you know, the numbers aren't great here, but for better, for worse, like you definitely feel a lot more free here. That's interesting. Yeah, I remember actually a common friend that I I, th I think I might have been the one that connected you guys, uh, John uh, Sung, the founder of uh, Five Nine. Yeah, and yeah, he yeah, sure, sure. He, yeah, he, dealings, he, right? In yeah, that's right, that's right. He's a friend. I know him. I know him well. Yes, and then you know he has a bunch of stuff uh, happening in in the Ukraine. I mean, married a, a Ukrainian uh, woman as well, and I remember him uh, explaining to me the fact that you actually have two different, almost two different judicial uh, systems in the Ukraine. You have the oligarch system and the actual state. <laughs> so it's a, it's an interesting. Uh, it's interesting the way that you describe. It's like, oh no, you have a bunch of stuff open. You just need to understand, you know. Where are the back doors, basically? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just have to know where the back doors are. And, and they're, they're people of very common sense in the sense of, like, we can go on about sort of politics and the lockdown and stuff. But, like, just like they're just a lot more commonsensical and they're not so nutty about everything, right? Wear masks, don't wear masks. Like, they're just – they don't freak out about this stuff. But, but I think they're, they're sort of a little bit more of a ruggedness, individual ruggedness here. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Well, I mean, I'll be honest in terms of just with – the differences between San Francisco and Miami, especially now that the CDC announced, right, that it's okay for fully vaccinated people not to wear masks anymore. It's it's a complicated situation for us to get back into regular common sense logic, even in, in the U.S., because a lot of people are still living in fear. And, 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 and maybe super high fear is San Francisco. Yeah. Things that happened with me when I was there. Double mask people screaming Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nuts. Me. That's nuts. I've had yeah, so nuts. many weird situations that were completely... I mean, just ridiculous in San Francisco. But this weekend, I had to buy uh, clothes. So I went to a Banana Republic store here in Miami. Everyone was wearing a mask still inside. And it's just like, and I walked into the store maskless. But not, I had it in my pocket. I'm like, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. be an asshole. Like, if there's a situation, I just want to test. I want to see because yeah. ultimately, if the CDC said that it's okay, why the hell if, are especially if you're vaxxed still... especially if you're vaxxed yeah exactly it's nuts yes yes i've had both of my pfizer shots it's fine and i was just like i wanted to test it out and then that feeling about what you're talking about that they don't really care it's it's present here but even this morning i was at the, in the elevator and I, i'm not wearing a mask anymore i'm carry it with my pocket i would only wear it whenever yeah. i have to and then people immediately you walk into the elevator even although they see me without a mask the ones that are not wearing they have this urge to justify themselves it's like you're in this like 45 second shared ride and they're like, oh, I just want to let you know this. Like I'm fully vaccinated. This is why I don't have a mask. Yeah. But I think that yeah. this is absurd. And there's an yeah. explanation, a mini rent, and then you get to your floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has happened a few times already. So it's just interesting. It's going to take time to, for things to readapt once again, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I, I mean, uh, it's, it's interesting. We've gone sort of like the red states are like never wear a mask. That's kind of, you know, like when the, during the pandemic, I found that to be very weird versus the, the blue states, which is like Absolutely. wear a mask forever, right? Like it's like, well, that's also not really the answer either. This extremism that's really taken off the U.S. as a moderate, I find it's very weird. Not weird, but just maybe it's just like just it's a weird time.